Okay, so the very first thing I wanna talk about is these different levels that they're talking about. Did you guys get confused when they were saving level one codes, level two codes, level one codes, level two codes? Well, I'm gonna show you the difference just by the book. Well, your CPT codes are level one codes. And the way that I think about it is not that they're necessarily more important, but there are more of them. This is what you're gonna be pulling 90% of your codes from is the CPT. So this is level one codes. Hixpix is level two. And guys, I do know that this is written on here, but I just wanna put some verbalization to it. Level two codes, these are your extra codes. If you're a dentist, if you're coding for a dentist in a dentist, dentist office, you're gonna be using this book. Not really gonna be using the CPT book. So um, that's one of the things that I wanted to point out. Uh, also, I want to point out that, of course, Lariana, I know that you don't have yours yet, but we're gonna get it. I wanna point out, do you see my little tabs? I know where my A codes are. I know where my B codes are. I know where my C codes are. I know where my index is. You're gonna find that I do this with all of my manuals. Now I'm just showing you right now, you can work, uh, this is a well worked in manual. This is the one I've been using um, this last year. Um, as we go through each section, I'm gonna show you why I do that. But I just kind of wanted to show you that if you don't have little tabs, if you go to the post-it note section in Walmart, they have all different ones. Um, I like the, uh, you're gonna see that these are the polka dot ones, but I like the heavy duty ones because they don't pull off. I don't have to worry. So if somebody says I need durable medical equipment and I know that that's an e-code, watch what I can do. Just pull it straight over. I don't have to thumb through my book to look for anything, right? So to me, it just makes sense to do it this way. Are you required to do it this way? No, I just wanted to show you how I do it. And it also gives me a chance to get in my manual and really get to know it. I have my table of drugs and I have my um, modifiers. All of that is set out for me. So if I need to look at a modifier, I don't have to thumb, I just pull my tab. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna do some slides together. I wanna say, if y'all don't have a note, a pen and a piece of paper, grab one. Because towards the end of this, you're gonna um, be doing a little exercise. So we're doing chapter nine, level two Hicks Picks codes. And this is just some general information. Hicks Picks stands for Healthcare Common Procedure Coding System. This will be on your quiz. It's developed by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS. This will, that will as well be on your quiz. And it was developed in 1983 will be on your quiz. So that's very important for you to know. So I am just gonna go through a few sections of your Hicks picks to kind of shed some, um, some light on them. So let's look at our A codes in our Hicks picks. These A codes are medical and surgical supplies. So what does that mean? Well, that can mean an ambulance ride, transfer by a medical uh, van, Surgical supplies, such as what you're gonna need to go into surgery with. And then it also includes diabetic supplies. So B codes are eternal, enteral, sorry, enteral, and parenteral, paraenteral, y'all, I butcher some words, therapy. So what does that mean? These therapies are medications, nutrients, vitamins, and other healing substances administered by injection into the body. The most common types of paraenteral therapies are given intravenously, but some are administered into the muscle or under the skin. D is dental procedures. E is durable medical equipment. 
This is the most common along with your injections and your medications. But durable medical equipment, it's like your wheelchair, walkers, canes, potty chairs, shower chairs. And I remember durable medical equipment are E's because it's equipment. So E for equipment. L is orthotics. And these are body modification. Like if you have uh, plantar fasciitis, you might get the little uh, foot thing. If you have whiplash, you could have the, um, the neck brace. If you have scoliosis, you could have the body brace, but that is orthotics. Orthotics is a medical specialty that focuses on design and application of <laughs> orthoses. An orthosis, plural orthoses, is an externally applied device used to modify the structural and functional characteristics of the neuromuscular system and the skeletal system. R is for radiology, diagnostic radiology. That'll be easy to remember because it's radiology. So now we're going to play a game, name that code. So we'll, we'll kind of go back. I'll scroll back a couple of times to kind of get y'all familiar again. So what is the letter that L. you would, L? Good job, it's orthotics, right? Mm -hmm. All right, good job, L. So what about durable medical equipment? What e. code? Um, e? The E's, right? Remember equipment is E. Okay, we have R. R for radiology again, right? So that one's easy. R for radiology. Do you remember? Let's go back and look. I know, don't get busy looking at this, but. Will there be A? Remember A? Yeah. Medical and surgical supplies. So that's our diabetic equipment, right? So that's going to be what? A codes. It's going to be A, A codes. So this is ortho again. L codes. L codes for ortho, yeah. Dentist. D codes. D. D for dental, that's right, that's great. Okay, now this is a feeding tube. A. So that'd be A. Uh, this is for that therapeutic. Let's go back and look. These. See the oh, little boy okay. with the feeding tube. Oh, okay. So I didn't even see that. At first. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, these are the B codes. These are your feeding tubes and your nutrition and vitamin oh. type things that have to be done through the feeding tube. So those are. Okay. See, I did the B for baby. I don't. <laughs> right. I didn't even notice the feeding tube on the line. I didn't oh. either. <laughs> yeah, B. If I always think that, you know, babies sometimes have to have feeding mm -hmm. tubes. I remember things in strange ways. Right. <laughs> so that's going to be what? B codes? That, B that's codes. our feeding. Yeah, yeah that's B. our feeding tube set up. Okay, a wheelchair. Um, um, e for L equipment. Yeah, E codes. Yeah. E for equipment. That's right. Surgical supplies. Uh, a. A, a, codes. a codes. That's right. Okay, this is that therapeutic again. Babies B. sometimes need feeding. Well, B. B. Feeding tips. B. That's right. Is that A? A for ambulance, yes, okay. transportation, <laughs> that's right. One, I think there's one more, no. We did it, uh, D. The D for dentist? D, D for dental, mm -hmm. D for dentist. And R for radiology. R for radiology. R for radiology. And one more. A, I look surgical. Yeah, A for surgical equipment. And 
Antoinette. Hi. I missed all of you. <laughs> you missed all of it. Well, I, 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 I recorded it, so I will send it to you. But okay. I'm glad to see your smiling face. Thank you. Antoinette, do you have this book? Uh, or some, something similar? Yeah. Loriana, plug your ears. Okay. <laughs> I'm so I'm the only one that didn't receive the book. <laughs> I am so sorry. I will make sure Mine you get all it. came together. Maybe they just forgot to put yours in there. 